Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, it was a very wet Tuesday. We started off with rain for our morning commute along with that fog. We had showers in the afternoon, rain for our evening commute. We're wrapping it all up with the precipitation on the WLWT radar. There are still some passing showers and sprinkles out there, but not a lot left for the rest of our late evening and overnight. Now we're going to turn our focus towards the cold temperatures. A close look at the radar showing the last couple of hours. Those showers moving out of our southeast counties. There's not a lot on the radar, but still some very small drizzle or sprinkle droplets possible for the next couple of hours and even through our night tonight. Our city cam shot visibility is reduced with the cloud cover. It is still damp on your way out and those temperatures are falling. We were in the mid to upper 50s all afternoon. Now we dropped back to 44. Note a west wind sustained at 17 miles an hour. It's gusting to 28. You can see that flag just below blowing in a nice breeze out of the west to northwest and that's going to usher in the colder temperatures through our overnight and by tomorrow morning those wind chills in the 20s. So a big time change in our air mass occurring through our overnight tonight and into Wednesday. Right now, temperatures still above the freezing mark locally, but the cold air sitting just off to the northwest, and there's a lot of it up across the northern part of the Great Plains with air temperatures below zero and wind chills this evening between 20 and 30 below zero across the Dakotas. That chunk of Arctic air will dive into our direction. It's going to take a couple of days for it to really settle in, so we'll start to fall back tomorrow. We'll keep getting colder Thursday and even into Friday. The cold front has moved through, and for our overnight forecast, we'll watch closely. Some of those sprinkles are very pass light passing showers could have a few wet snowflakes with them into tomorrow morning, but air temperatures and ground temperatures comfortably above the freezing mark, so it should not cause any problems. They would be very early on Wednesday. Then behind it tomorrow afternoon, we have some sunshine. It'll be a cold afternoon with wind chills in the 20s, but it's our quiet day because here we head into Thursday and note there's a band of snow that sets up in a west to east fashion right across uh, the heart of the Midwest and into the Ohio River Valley. We will be included in what we're expecting to be accumulating snowfall and snow showers through the day on Thursday. Now it may last for a good portion of the day, but doesn't look like it's going to drop off too much in the way of accumulation. Here's a look at a close range of the future cast on Thursday morning. The morning commute looks fine. 5, 6, 7 a.m. The timing right now has been fairly consistent with the models to hold off to late morning or midday. But then once the snow showers build in, as we have past likely 10 or 11 a.m., they're going to linger through the afternoon light snow showers into the evening hours light snow showers. They'll be most focused in our southern counties and across the heart of the bluegrass for central Kentucky where the higher snow accumulations are expected. But we'll likely all get some activity on Thursday and around an inch of snow is kind of our first forecast look at it. So we're still about 36 hours away, but I do think the models have been very consistent with about an inch for Cincinnati, the heart of the tri-state, maybe slightly higher totals are southern counties a little bit lower on the north side. Tonight, some of those showers tapering. The clouds stick around a few wet snowflakes as we drop to 28, 32 for a high tomorrow. It's going to be a cold one, a little shocker after the temperatures in the 50s the last couple of days. Highs only in the 20s, Thursday, Friday, and into our weekend. Some overnight lows, single digits to 10 or 11 degrees. We've got some bitter cold January temperatures heading our way. We'll start to come out of it by mid next week. Sure. All right, so let's start to think ahead to spring training.